Welcome to my two-part tutorial on how to draw and paint a baby sloth. This is part one, focusing on drawing. To draw your baby sloth, start with a large oval that is rounder and bigger at one end. This will be the sloth's body. On the top left hand side you're going to draw another smaller circle. This is its head. Make sure that they overlap. Keep drawing that circle shape until you get the right size and the right shape. Now our baby sloth is hanging off a tree with its arm slightly over its face. Now we're going to do the arm that hangs off the branch. Let's draw the back leg that is hanging off the branch as well. Remember that this leg goes over the body here. You can rub off that bit where the body goes over the leg now. Now the other back leg that is peeping through in between. You can add the branch. Remember that this back leg is going over the branch so don't draw it there. And the paw with the curved claws. This is a three-toed sloth so three curved claws. Curve them round the branch like they are gripping. Let's do the other back claw. Again, we need three claws curling round the branch. This leg goes straight over the branch but we don't see the claws because they are hiding behind. Now sketch in the eyes and nose. Start with a sort of squished triangle for the nose and then you can sketch in the detail of the nose. The eyes and the nose are quite close together and the mouth comes from either side of the nose. It has a sort of smiley look on its face, some of the sloths, so you can get that cute little smiley look. Then the curved almond shape for the eyes. And the sort of slightly dark rings around the almond eyes. Just sketch those in in pencil. Later on in part two of this tutorial, we will learn how to paint these using watercolours. Little teeth there, coming out of his smile. And then you can just sort of shade gently in the darker rings around the eyes. Same with the fur for the face. You can also rub off the circle around the head a bit so that it doesn't look quite so circular. For the final bit of this part one tutorial, we're going to just plot in the shapes made by the darkest areas of the fur. 
sloths seem to have very rough fur. So we're going to draw in some of the outlines. So here, that paw that's coming across the face. We're going to draw in and indicate some of the areas of that fur. The direction that the fur grows in. You can give the head a very sort of rough outline. Don't press hard, just show the shape and direction of some of the grains or lines of the fur. Later when you come to watercolour this, it will help you to know where you're going to put your darks and lights. The darkest areas are under the chin and in between the arm and the body. I'm going to draw, actually draw round the shapes of the darkest areas. This area is really dark. And they're sort of little curved triangles of dark areas that come out from under the head and chin. So I'm putting those in now. The shape of the body in front of the paw that's hanging off the branch. And I'm also going to draw some of the shapes, this time of the light swishes of rough fur. This area is dark, so I'm drawing the outline of the dark areas. These ones are the light areas. And if you use a picture of a sloth to help you, you'll know how to keep track of which areas are the dark shapes and which ones are the light shapes that you're drawing. The pointy V's that are upside down, like these, these are the dark areas I'm drawing. Ones that point the other way, like these, these are the light swishes of fur. I'll make sure that those stand out later when I paint. If you enjoyed this, why not pop over to part 2 of this tutorial and learn to paint the baby sloth. Please like and subscribe to my channel.